This video is specially designed for first-time painters who want to paint their miniatures for their campaign or adventures, or people that are not yet comfortable at miniature painting but have been painting for a while now. In this video, I'll give recommendations on what to get brushes, tools, and paints to start your miniature painting. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my channel. This channel is supported by all these awesome brands. Also, special thanks to The Army Painter for making this video possible. The first thing to get is a set of synthetic brushes. Normally, I would recommend Kolinsky brushes, but you could do that later when you really enjoy miniature painting. The Fox Bite set I'm showing here includes a couple of goat hair dry brushes, which is great for a slop chop. If you have no plans of getting a set of synthetic brushes, I would highly recommend you get number 1 and number 3 sized brushes. You don't need to get a handle yet, but I highly recommend the Foxbite painting handle. Today we're painting a Mammoth Factory miniature, but you could get any miniature that doesn't have too many accessories. I primed the miniature with gray spray can primer already but we'll start the actual painting by dry brushing. Now I would recommend white paint that has good coverage. And of course, I would recommend War Paints Fanatic Matte White. Rub your dry brush on a piece of towel so that it's not too loaded with paint. Do not unload your paint too much because your dry brushing will become too time consuming. Dry brushing should take you 5 to 10 minutes depending on the size of the miniature. You don't need to start your slop chop with black primer, especially if you plan to use a lot of washes later in the painting process. Even if you invested on Kolinsky brushes already, I would highly recommend not to use them for speed paints, washes, inks, and metallic paints. But that deserves another video so that I could explain it better. I hate that I'm not recommending War Paints Fanatic or any regular acrylic paints here, but for a total beginner, Speed Paints is more than enough to help you paint your first miniature. I have a ton of older videos painting with Speed Paints that might help you out with producing great painted miniatures. Like I said earlier, you should choose a miniature that doesn't have too many accessories so that you're focused on just a few colors. Again, miniature painting handles are optional but they make painting more comfortable and fun. Another quick tip when miniature painting, you should pre-select your colors before you start painting. By pre-selecting your colors, your painting will be a bit more efficient and more enjoyable. Speed Paints works the best over very detailed miniatures like this one from Mammoth Factory. Using Speed Paints on huge plain areas like cloak or even armor doesn't give you the best results. Now you could see in the video that you don't really need to start your slop chop with black primer because Speed Paints and washes will bring out those details. Now after painting the flesh areas and the carapace or armor of the miniature, it's now a matter of just finishing the rest of the model. Now notice how I let the speed paint settle on the details and crevices. This will give you more contrast with your painting but make sure to control this so that it's not too much. Another quick tip if you are a beginner or not yet comfortable with using your speed paints, I recommend that you start by painting the base or less important parts of the miniature. Now we are done with our initial speed painting. The initial speed painting should take you around 10 minutes and you should let this initial layers dry before proceeding to the next step. Now if you are getting value out of this video, do give this video a thumbs up and do consider subscribing to my channel. Now similar to the speed paints, we pre-select our wash. I'm using War Paints Fanatic washes here and this washes does not add too much tint or saturation to your model or to your painting. But they do give more contrast to the overall look of your painting. Similar to the lighter colored speed paints, not the darker colors, a couple of passes of washes will give you the best results. Unlike speed paints, thicker layers of washes might give you a shinier finish. 
But for this model, it's fine. It looks great after applying the washes. The shine after tons of layers of washes is easy to fix though. You just need to apply a quick matte varnish. But again, I did not apply matte varnish on this model as you'll see later in the video. As you can see in the video, I'm applying more layers of washes. I'm letting it pull on some details so that I create more contrast and more color and add more color to the painting. Try to control the pulling though as this might make your miniature painting look messy. Controlled pulling will bring out the details of this nice miniature from Mammoth Factory and will give you more contrast. Also make sure that you let the previous layers dry before you apply multiple layers of speed paints and washes. Painting with washes is very enjoyable and relaxing but the drying time will kinda slow you down. If you want to speed up the drying time of the washes, you may use a hair dryer. But I would recommend that you allow the washes to settle on the crevices and details for around 5 to 10 minutes before using the hair dryer. Now we're applying green tone and red tone washes to improve the color contrast of our painting. Speed paints thinned down with speed paint medium will give you faster results if you want to tint the miniature. Now going back to starting or slop chop with black primer, you can see that the washes did its job. Starting your slop chop with black primer will allow you to use less layers of washes. But as you can see in the video, it's something that you can do without. But honestly, I did not start the slop chop with black primer because I simply ran out of black primer. Our painting is done and your miniature is ready for its adventure. But we'll try to add a little bit more pop to our painting by using FX paint. Now this part of the painting is totally optional especially if you don't like blood and gore since we're using Warpaint's Fanatic blood effects. Similar to speed paints and washes, use synthetic brushes for the FX paints. Also multiple layers of the FX paints will give more depth to your painting. Apply paint effects as much as you want. Now before I reveal a huge thanks to all my patrons at Patreon, Hajime Model Studio and of course The Army Painter for making this video possible. Now like I said earlier, key to selecting your first miniature painting or first miniature is to select a miniature without too many accessories thus too many colors. This is important so that your very first painting looks awesome and that you're just focused on making sure that a few colors look good. Also like I always say in my other speed painting videos, selecting a very detailed miniature like this one, this Mammoth Factory model, renders really well with speed paints and washes. Also, even if you have Kulinski brushes already, it's important that you only use synthetic brushes for speed paints, washes, and inks. This is so because speed paints, washes, and inks are very runny. And if you're using Kolinsky brushes, the runny paints will slowly like build up in the ferrule of your brush, of your Kolinsky brush. And this will slowly damage your precious brushes. It is important to note though that synthetic brushes does not hold their points or are not as durable as Kolinsky brushes. But if you want more control, simply use newer synthetic brushes. I hope this video will inspire you to paint your very first miniature for your campaign or adventure. Or simply paint or speed paint more miniatures. If you like this video, do leave a comment below and tell me what other type of miniatures you would like me to speed paint. Lastly, if you like this model, do check out Mammoth Factory at the description below. Also, do check out the brushes and the handles from Foxbite. I have a 10% discount. That's it, Pansit. I hope you like this video. Do like, comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. Until next video, guys. Bye. Now, if you like this video, do check out these other videos.